and welcome back to another episode of your favorite Pokemon to an AC. Now today, we have this comment here. So I have to make shiny Bidoof, but not just any shiny Bidoof. This one is in particular a reference to the show Pokemon Rusty version with peanut butter. So, yeah, that's gonna be interesting. I, like, you know, wait. I'm sticking with the whole Pokemon aesthetic. However, I, this is too good of an opportunity to pass. So I am gonna, like, make this, like, the reference to, uh, freaking, uh, peanut butter. So the thing you said there with the colors, I won't skip that. I'll do that then. Okay, everyone, uh, let's see this in action. Okay, so here we have the AC shiny Bidoo for aka peanut butter and I, I think I, I forgot the weapons but it doesn't matter we like it didn't give it a weapon color but I, I think yellow would fit but uh, I don't remember the red being on his legs on le oh wait doll oh, okay yeah I get it I get it okay I get the reference but okay um, in that case we have the shiny Bidoof here and well, uh, it looks promising already. <laughs> I think this is a very bulky AC. The weapons I absolutely do love, so I'm not gonna have any complaints with that one. And other than that, I just need to test it out now. So, what I'm gonna do is going to the mobility test and see it in action. Okay, now then, let us go with the speed here. 351 kilometers per hour. Not bad for such a bulky AC here. Especially, look at that health there. 9,500 health. Uh, we have the, the machine gun along with the pulse rifle. And if I happen to run out of an, uh, ammo on those, then I have another machine gun and pulse rifle ha right at the hangar. And also, how much speed do I gain from that? 393 kilometers per hour now. All right. Well, nothing to write home about. Well, whatever. This fits. This fits. And well, I guess all I really have to do now is to go to the test AC and uh, wreck it. Okay, test AC. Let's see how you will stand up against peanut butter or well, shiny Bidoof. All right. Well. The Sylph along with the Rock 4 are very accurate weapons, so I don't really need to even need to get that close, but uh, look at this already, like, he is getting bump- look, he's already dead, he's already dead, I'm not even halfway through my ammo on my first set of weapons, so, yeah, this is a great AC, let's go with this. Okay, so here's what we have to do. Battle challenge. I mean, there's the whole thing that Zenaya wants to fight you, but, like, you get interrupted, so... We're not gonna be fighting anything too hard here, but, you know what, let's just destroy him with this Bidoof. Okay, well, here we go then. So, we start out without really anything to fight here, so I'm just gonna focus a bit on hitting a few things here with my Rock 4, because that one, like, it doesn't run out of ammo that's as quick as the Sylph does. And, uh, I guess we can go for a few of these, uh, flying helicopters there. Yeah, there we go. Uh, Zenaida's all also taking care of a few. But I don't really need to, like, you know, actually fight anything here, like, the whole thing here with this mission is that uh, we work together with Zenaida and then uh, freaking like Shade will show up and that's when the real battle starts and that's pretty much what I'm just doing now waiting for Shade to show up like I can let her handle the MTs and the helicopters here and it wouldn't be a problem I heard that I heard you uh, like missiles coming towards me and, oh, well, she's, uh, like, what do I, what am I even here for right now? Like, she can handle this herself. Uh, here, let's just, uh, fire. 
Well, unless she uses a freaking uh, uh, ECM jammer, then I'm... Okay, Shade just arrived. But yeah, ECM jammer is not going to help me out, Zenaida. But okay, here we go. Uh, he's right there, and we can just start fighting like that. Come on, get a bit closer so I can strafe you. Get a bit closer so I can strafe around you, because right now you are being annoying by standing still right there where I can't... Okay, there. Okay, uh, he's trying to t uh, spin around. Oh, God, oh, God, I hit the wall there. And you tried using some grenade rifles uh, launchers on me, but that's... Okay, hang on, let me go below you. There we go. And just keep shooting like that. Hurry, 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 hurry. Yeah, thank you. I mean, I could, could honestly do better, but hey, you go, you compliment me. That's fine enough as it is. And you, I am almost out of ammo, but uh, he he should be going down soon. Yeah, okay, you know what? Here, dropping it preemptively so I can just have a fresh set of... Oh, okay. Well, I didn't even have to use my hangar units there, actually, if I just stuck, stuck with my original weapons. Oh, right, right, I have to actually finish off the helicopter here. I forgot about that little detail. All right, can you guys just stand... There we go. And what about the other one? There you are. And... Oh, wait, I thought I had you... Oh, whoa, that was a landing lag there. Okay, here we go. There we go. We beat it. And without really breaking much of a sweat, honestly. All right, skipping ahead. A rank S. Not exactly too surprised there. Well, uh, that went pretty well. That was a lot of fun here. So, uh, peanut butter, I mean, shiny Bidoof, has really uh, pulled through for us. And aesthetically, I really like it as well. It just really fits. And... I uh, don't know what other people think of this, and if you somehow don't know the reference, yeah, you can look up uh, Pokemon Rusty. Though it does have a bit of dark humor to it, so I don't know if, you sh like, if you're into that, but... Well, whatever, we at least have it here. The shiny Bidoof, and well, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and this AC as well. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.